Hey, what's up? I'm Tiffany, and today we'll be talking about my favorite tools for toddler learning. That's next. Stay tuned. Welcome to Midlife Mama, I'm Tiffany, and I am a single 47-year-old first-time mom to my 20-month-old daughter. And on this channel, I hope you will find inspiration, encouragement, and hope, along with some practical tips on motherhood and self-care after 40. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and joining the YouTube family coming along for the ride. If you are already a subscriber, Thank you so much for being here and for supporting the channel and welcome back. So in today's video, I wanna share with you some of the tools that I have been using to help Nevaeh learn. They are very simple tools. They don't, not extravagant. Some of them, most of them came from Walmart or Target and two of them are apps. So let's just get right into it. The first thing I have on the list are bath toys. And I just dropped one. <laughs> They're bath toys. I think bath time is a great way for Nevaeh to practice what she's been learning throughout the day. And it's a good little bit of learning right before she goes to sleep at night. And what I have for her for that are these little foam numbers. They're solid on the back and they're patterned on the front. They're a little foamy, they float on top of the bath water and she's able to play with them and pick them out and recognize them. They also come with the letters. So you get the full alphabet and you get numbers from zero to nine. And they are fun for her to play with. They're all over the house, mind you. There's only a few of them I have for the bathtub. There's some right here in her ball pit. There's some in our car. And there's some, <laughs> there's some downstairs in her little play area that she has downstairs. So keep that in mind. They do get everywhere unless you keep them in the bathroom. I made the mistake of letting her play with them outside the bathroom. And so now they're, now they're everywhere. We find them everywhere, so. But they're a great little bath time tool to help her learn. I like bath time because she's in one place and she's not moving around too much and she can focus on, on the little learning game that I like to play with her in the bathtub. The other thing I like to do with Nevea is play with these little boats. These boats are great for color and they're also great for numbers. They have a little number on the top, right there. And she can recognize the numbers. There's only three of them, so it was great to help her learn to count from one, two, three, that, that uh, first counting sequence that kids learn. And it was also great for her to start to recognize her colors. So from a very young age, I started to tell her that this was a purple boat, and this was an orange boat, and this is a pink boat. So. She's been playing with these since I started bathing her in her infant bathtub. Uh, we have recently, I have recently moved her to the big bathtub, but uh, we still play with these. And they're some of her favorite things to play with. And once we're done learning, uh, doing our little learning games, I do just go ahead and let her play around with the rest of her toys in the bathtub. But bath time is a great time to practice what she's learned throughout the day. And I like to use these boats and the little foamy letters. Both of them I got from Walmart, under $2 each. One second. The next thing I have on the list is something that I use to help her uh, learn to be creative, and that is colored pencils and crayons. And what I like to do with these is let Nevea pick out her colors that she wants to use for the day. So it's a great way for her to practice her colors. And I also let her do the same thing with the crayons, let her pick the color out. And then I sit her in her little booster seat at the island with a pad of paper and just let her write. I do have to sit there with her because she's still a toddler and she does tend to put things in her mouth. So while I'm sitting there with her, I like to let her just color and she lets me know when she's done. But it's a great way to keep her, keep her busy and keep her creative juices flowing and for her to practice her colors. So she's been doodling for a little while now and 
her doodling is starting to get more elaborate. So yeah, crayons, colored pencils. Both of these came from Walmart for not very much money. I will link everything that I show in this video. I'll link below in the description. Um, yeah, crayons and colored pencils, real simple way to get the creative juices flowing and practice color. The next thing I have on the list are flashcards. This one is the 50 first words. I also have one exactly like this for ABCs. The flashcards look like this, they're double-sided. You can see that they're very colorful. And so again, great way for her to practice her colors. These are great ways for her to associate names with pictures. So we practice first words with her on a daily basis. And we also practice numbers. And this is the numbers flashcards that we use. You can see that this is for ages four to six, but Nevaeh can count from one to 10. And what I do with Nevaeh is I just use the numbers that she knows right now. And every so often I add an extra, extra number to the rotation. So that is how we got up to 10, but the flashcards look like this. So they have a different color around the rim. So I can say, what color is that? So another, again, another way for her to practice colors and a way for her to recognize numbers. So right now we're, we're up to 10. In the next couple of weeks, I'll be adding a couple more numbers, which are 11 and 12, so that she can uh, start to learn numbers beyond 10. But right now she can count from one to 10. And we use these flashcards to help her practice. So what we like to do with these flashcards is put them first, not in sequential order, and just ask her to pick out the numbers and then put them in order from one, to, from one to 10 and count the numbers so she practices counting. And yeah, that's what we do with these flashcards. The ABCs, we do the same thing with the ABCs. This is what the ABC flashcards look like. And on the back, there's a picture of a word that starts with the letter. So she gets a letter and a word to associate with that letter. And she also, another opportunity to practice her colors. And she's gonna be really good with colors uh, by, the time we're, by the time we're through with this uh, little process. So yeah, flashcards. All three of those sets of flashcards came from Target. The ABC and First Words flashcards were $3.49 each, and the number of flashcards were $2.67 at Target. The next thing I have on the list is books. And obviously reading to your babies are, is a great way to help them learn to talk, great way to help them learn uh, sentence structure, and it's a great way for them to recognize the letters and numbers that they have been, pra that they, they have been practicing or learning. So for Nevea, this book right here, 10 on the sled, one of her favorite books, and what we love about this book is that it's very colorful, very colorful. The pages are very colorful. But in each sentence, there's a number in the sentence, and Nevea likes to pick out the number in the sentence. So I love this book for reading and for numbers and for colors. She also starts has started to pick out letters and words, and some of the sight words she's starting to recognize in this book as well. So yeah. 10 on the sled. Her other two favorite books are bedtime books. And this one, this one is Good Night Moon. This is the first book or story that Nevaeh really attached herself to. If she wanted to be read to, this is the book she would go and get and bring to you so that you could read it to her. She has a favorite line in this book. It's the quiet old lady who was whispering hush. If I stop at lady, she'll say hush. She also loves to pick out the cow and the bears and the kittens in this story. So reading time for Nevaeh is very interactive. I do let her participate in the story so that she gets involved and she starts to understand sentence structure and storyline. This book is by Sandra Boynton and this book, it's just fun. It's just a fun little book to read. It's like reading a little poem. The other book we have by her is called The Barnyard Dance, and you can download a song that goes with it. It's like a little square dance. So super cute. I am a big fan of Sarah Boynton's books. And yeah, this book is just the going to bed book. Again, very colorful. And some of her, 
yeah one of her favorite bedtime books all three of these books are in her nighttime rotation so she gets learning <laughs> she gets the opportunity to learn uh all throughout the day i think that i like to use every situation during the day as a learning experience for her so i'm constantly pointing out things outside of her learning tools to ask her if she can recognize it so she is starting to pick things out on the tv and there's uh pictures and signs and things that she can recognize that are just around the house so the last two things on the list are apps and the first app uh you'll see it pop up somewhere <laughs> the first app i want to tell you guys about is called metamorphobit i am a big fan of this app it's highly interactive really uh, fun for Nevaeh to play with. She plays with this app for a while. It can keep her busy if you if I let her play with it. Sometimes she'll spend her entire iPad time on this just, just this one app. It's very interactive. I'll insert footage of her using the app. But the concept is that you touch a letter and then you watch that letter metamorphosize into different words that start with that letter and there's a lot of movement and action uh, involved with each letter and when you finish the entire sequence for the letter it will let you move on to the next letter so on Nevaeh's iPad she has gotten through the entire alphabet and she still plays with it so she just picks which letter she wants to see and she goes and plays with that letter and goes through the sequence and then she'll go back to the home page and pick another letter it's I love this app. It's so fun and I think it cost me about $4.99. I'm not I'm not sure. I will put the price of the app on the bottom down here as well so that you can know what it costs, but it was worth it for me because she has learned so much from just playing with this app and one of my favorite apps that I have downloaded for her. The second app that I like for Nevaeh is called First Words Deluxe. And again, I'll insert uh, some footage of her playing with that app as well. And I'll put down at the bottom how much that app costs because I think they are both paid apps, but they're not very expensive. And this one helps Nevaeh recognize um, colors, objects around the house, vehicles. It's got different categories that she can play with and all she has to do is tap the letter and move it to where it goes at the top of the screen and when in the end it tells her that she's spelled the color and the color there's a lot of action and interactivity involved with it so i love that app as well i also like preschool prep academy so in the next video for toddler learning i'm going to do just apps and i'll tell you guys all of the apps that i like to use for nevaeh my, my favorite apps for her but these two are my favorite that's it for this video you guys those are all of the things i have on the list so far using these tools and other learning techniques for nevea uh, she is now able to say her abcs and she recognizes her colors and her shapes and she can count from one to ten she's starting to pick out her sight words on t on the tv on books and passing by if we're passing by something that has a word or a letter on it she can she's starting to pick those things out and yeah I think her development is on at a good pace and these are some of my favorite tools that I have used to help her get there if you have any tips or comments or questions or anything like that you can put those questions in the comments below give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it hit the subscribe button come along for the ride join the family turn on notifications catch up with me on facebook snapchat instagram and twitter and i will see you all in the next video thanks for watching bye yeah Yeah, she can count from one to 10 and she's starting to sing along with the songs and nursery rhymes that we sing with her. So, <laughs> she just finished lunch, so we're about afternoon nap time.
You want to say hi? Say hi. Who's that? Say hi. <laughs> Such a character. I swear. I swear. I swear.